So by now you understand how the Gram-Schmidt orthogonalization process works. And what I've done here is I've written down in great detail. And um, how does this work? Well, we march over all of the columns of A. When we get to AK, we will assume that we have already computed all of the previous uh, columns of Q and that we have computed a big part, the top left part, so to say, of matrix R. Okay. And then for that new vector, AK, that new column, what we do is we copy it over into a vector in which we're going to compute the orthogonal uh, component, the component orthogonal to the previous Q0 through Q K minus 1 that already have been computed. And then what we do is we loop through and for each previous um, vector Q sub i, we compute the coefficient and then we subtract out the component in the direction of that vector um, so that eventually when we're done with this loop we're left with the component orthogonal to what had been computed previously. And at that point we can compute its length and then we can compute the next Q sub K by taking that component and dividing it by its length. And then we move on to the next column. Okay, in the next step what we say is, well you know we don't actually need a new array in which to store Q. We could just overwrite the orig original matrix A with those vectors of Q that we compute. And how would this change our algorithm here? Well, what would happen is that when we're all done at the bottom here, we would simply set AK to what becomes QK. But it also means that all along, instead of computing with Q sub i, we should compute with A sub i. And now we don't need to have an extra array in which to store Q. Hmm. Now, what if? What if we accidentally made a programming mistake? And what if we accidentally forgot to create a temporary vector in which we accumulate the orthogonal component and we instead compute it with what was in AK to start out with? We would end up with this algorithm right here. What I want you to do is go and do the homework that follows this video. And what you'll find out is this is actually not a programming bug, this is a programming feature, or rather, you know, this is not a bug in the algorithm, it is a feature of a new algorithm. I'll see you in the next video.